And part of the reason that the housing market is struggling in Florida, Newsweek reported, is due to the high cost of home insurance. Are we talking about condos or homes? But this article is comparing condos and homes, and it's very confusing to know what the hell they're actually talking about. Anyhow, and I'm 100% certain that this Redfin data that they're quoting in this Redfin article is also you know, it's really funny. When I do these types of videos, I always wonder, will I get a whole lot of comments or will I get absolutely no comments? Do the commenters think the market's good or do they think the market is bad? Do they love the market, hate the market, love me or hate me? Because I've learned it's less about me and it's all about you. So the more I know about you, the better I can help. Hello friends, welcome back. You're watching Chris Igo and I want to help as many folks as I possibly can. And breaking news as a total shock is that the Florida condo prices drop as the insurance crisis deepens. I want you to be in the know. Sales of condos in Florida has plummeted in January. High costs of home insurance. Owners are looking to offload these properties as evidenced by a jump in listings but the homes are proving difficult to sell. But I'm gonna get more into that later. Let me finish this article. With insurance costs skyrocketing in Florida, making buyers more reluctant to invest in condos, some of the major metros are seeing a plunge in the sale of homes. Jacksonville, for example, saw the median sales price fall by 6.5% compared to a year ago, as the number of sales took a nosedive by more than 27%. Miami, meanwhile, saw the median sales price year over year slide in January, some parts of the states like Cape Coral and North Park are statistically doing well, as they started at a low base after being hit by Hurricane Ian, the Florida market is underperforming compared to the national market, in which condo prices are accelerating and sales are performing at a higher rate. And part of the reason that the housing market is struggling in Florida is due to the high cost of home insurance, which has soared over the last year. Increased weather disruptions that have also played a role in some companies' decisions to leave the state entirely. State residents are having to pay some of the highest insurance premiums in the country. In 2023, Floridians paid 42% more in home insurance compared to the year before. Condo owners are seeing their monthly maintenance fees soar. Condo costs are shocking. Condos that used to have a $400 monthly maintenance fee may now have a $700 maintenance fee. It's causing buyers to rethink their plans. Well, I got bad news for you. If you stick around to the end of this video, I think you're gonna leave a brown stain on the mattress when you learn exactly how much the condo maintenance fee has jumped in the example I'm going to share. But I can promise you one thing, the condo fees have gone through the roof, but the article does go on to say that, that Redfin says, and if Redfin says it, it must be true. I saw a meme earlier that told me that Abraham Lincoln says you should always believe what Redfin says. But according to the article, prospective condo buyers can afford monthly homeowners association fees. The increases have added an obstacle for prospective buyers seeking a mortgage. This has also hindered demand. And the lending requirements on a condo are completely different than a home. But if I had a dime for every time a deal fell out of contract because the buyer's agent didn't understand the financing requirements for a condo, I would be a bazillionaire. But I was shocked when I got the phone call from someone looking to sell a condo and realized how much they don't know about the condo market or even their condo development. But the good news is I know exactly how to solve all their problems and I'm going to. So stick around for that story, but I wanna continue this article. Buyers are turning to single family homes and eschewing condos as a result. Is it eschewing or eschewing? I don't really know. But I do know if you're chewing on this fat and this misinformation, you are truly effed. But it goes on to say, in Miami, the average cost of single family units has risen and listings are up 13%. Not today's news. Is also so damn lagging that it doesn't really matter because everything they're talking about is yesterday's data. But it goes on to say, condos are sitting on the market much longer than they used to with less interest from buyers. Sky high HOA costs are pushing buyers out of their monthly budget. Agents, our commissions are being challenged. Our commissions are being outlawed. 
our commissions are very likely going away. So if you're dependent on Zillow or Realtor or any of these other lead providers, you are in trouble. You must triple your real estate business right now using video. Join my Patreon. I'll show you how I did it. Let's go. And that is 100% true. Which takes me to the phone call that I received from someone looking to sell their condo in Lantana. And I know the building's nice, but I also know that their condo fees have exploded because everyone's condo fees have exploded because condo insurance has exploded. And the property insurance market in Florida is a disaster. I think by now everybody knows that. But I spoke to someone just like you who found me on YouTube, went to my website, igohomegroup.com, set an appointment through my Calendly link, and we had a great hour-long conversation where I got to learn everything I needed to know about how to help him get what he wants. Which is to sell the condo, get more money than any other method of selling possible, and move on with his life. But he shared how it was listed in the past, and they started in the $400,000 range, and they ended in the $300,000 range. And it was crickets. No qualified buyers were coming. And as we walked through the active listings, his competition, when he wants to sell, and he wanted this thing to be sold yesterday, but we had to analyze the current market as it is right now. And I identified a listing, which I'm going to share with you. Because although he has a two bedroom, two bath property, is macked out, updated, upgraded, and extremely nice, what he did not know would absolutely hurt him. Because their condo monthly fee today it's $1,300, which very likely is more than the mortgage that the buyer would need if they qualify. But just know it will never sell. If it's overpriced, it's not gonna sell. 100% of the time. But thankfully, this individual has been through the ringer before. They've already tested the market and it didn't work. And I know my method will, but we gotta know what the competition is. And the competition is a three bedroom, two bath. It started at 375. It's now down to 284. It's been sitting on the market for 218 days and it just fell out of contract. But I also know that the seller is giving a $15,000 credit for possible future assessment and flooring replacement. So the 284.9 that it's listed at is not going to be the net number that the seller receives. It's going to be that minus $15,000. If, and that's a big if, that's the only seller credit that they give because the $15,000 credit that they're offering today is not where they started. It started with a $5,000 credit, which tells me that this credit is very likely to be much bigger in order for them to sell. I was also able to learn that the seller of this property is likely to be a non-US resident, which means that the buyer for this property is going to be subject to FERPTA. FERPTA, which stands for the Foreign Investment Property Tax Act, or maybe it's Foreign Investment Real Estate Property Tax Act. Anyhow, this seller is very likely to be a non-US resident, which means that the buyer of this home must withhold 10 to 15 percent of the purchase price in order to ensure the seller's tax burden is accounted for. But if the agent marketing the property doesn't know that there's FERPTA, then the buyer of the property doesn't know there's FERPTA, and when they go to close and find out that they need to withhold somewhere between 10 or 15% of the sale, if they learn materially different information right before they're going to close, well then chances are the deal is going to collapse, and the chances are like 100%. But FERPTA is not a deal breaker, and Florida condo fees have gone through the roof. But there's always a solution. The market is always good for someone. And there's no shortage of folks relocating and migrating to Florida to escape the craziness and the weather and the winter and the politics and the expense of living in other states. A waterfront condo is very desirable for many buyers, but it's not gonna be the right fit for everyone and you must do what's right for you. If you are thinking about buying or selling in Boynton Beach, 
in Southeast Palm Beach County. We are a full-time, full-service real estate team of professionals that specializes in finding the one buyer on planet Earth willing to pay more than anybody else, irrespective of market conditions. And if you must move and want to find your dream home and dream lifestyle and negotiate the best deal possible, then please reach out because we've got your back. We will not let you down. And I remain committed to sharing the truth so that you get what you want. Subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, check me out on igohomegroup.com to get started, and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching.